first away is Red Midnight. Also running well is Dream Dimple. Then as the race moves on, it's Red Midnight. Dream Dimple in second position. Beauty's Suspicion in 11th. Destiny's Dream putting on the pressure. Continuing around the track, it's Red Midnight. Showy Revenge with a brilliant turn of foot. Destiny's Dream in fourth place. With 300 metres to go, it's Nocturnal Rider. Showy Revenge charging through. Tricky Dazzler pushing past horses. Destiny's Dream with a magnificent run. Close to home. Showy Revenge in second place. Finishing on a high note. That's what the paper said of your grandfather's final victory. And it was well deserved. But I was there. I knew the reason he did it was for the thrill, the sport, and especially family. Your father was already comfortable in his own saddle and making a name for himself. But when your proud grandfather strolled on the stage, leaving him alone in the sun, oh, he took off like an untamed wind. But then, of course, You know how hard it was on the family. But your grandfather took it the hardest. For all his achievements, in the end he considered himself a failure. I still believe in your family's legacy, despite everything. If you could, if you would be persuaded, please come back. I believe Together, we can return this homestead to the height of its glory days. Yours faithfully, Francis Kwan.
Waiting for the start at Three Oaks. Welcome War, the favourite in an interesting lineup. Number seven, hoping for an upset. Racing, Welcome War is off to a fabulous start. Hunters would be happy with themselves early. Right there is Welcome War. Tombstone.
Horses and jockeys ready for the off at Three Oaks. Number three, the horse that punters favour. Gate Spring, a great start for the favourite. Blueberry Brontosaurus doing well on the inside. Number three, still outrunning the rest. Calm Storm in second, trying to fend off Chocolate Targo. Just in front of Blueberry Brontosaurus. Tussling with Emerald Dance, putting up a challenge to Bamboo Daffodil. 600 out and it's number three, Blueberry Brontosaurus taking the inside line. And then it's Calm Storm battling with Eagles Industry. Number three, maintaining the lead. Blueberry Brontosaurus moving forward from Calm Storm. Stride for stride with Eagles Industry. Number three in control. Blueberry Brontosaurus wants the front. One length away, it's Eagles Industry pushing hard in front of Calm Storm. Number three striking the front. Blueberry Brontosaurus in second position from Eagles Industry trying to fend off Calm Storm. Number three maintaining the prime spot. Number three wins. Blueberry Rontosaurus in second place. Third at the line. Calm Storm.
They're ready to go at Sewell Meadows. Number three is where all the money is in this race. Off they go. Number three, off to a magnificent start. Bookies are nervous. Fun Fizz is also in the run. Number three, showing the way. Travelling on the rails, it's suboptimal soup. Clashing with nail impact. Peppermint description in fourth place, just behind its twilight damage. The race continues with number three, nail impact in second spot. Gentlemen's feet breathing down their neck, followed by straight sand. Straight sand pushing past horses. 600 to run, it's number three. And here comes Nail Impact, suboptimal soup, sprinting fast along the rail. Twilight Damage in eighth position, just ahead of Barracuda Blackberry. The race continues with number three, Nail Impact in second place, head and head with suboptimal soup, putting in a strong bid with Straight Sand. Number three is running for fun. Nail Impact in second, then suboptimal soup. Number three, keeping the lead. Nail Impact in second spot. One length behind, it's suboptimal soup. At the top of the straight, it's number three. Heaven description with a withering run. Nail Impact gets the money, just scoring from number three. Suboptimal soup in third.
Excitement building here at Three Oaks. Number three, the favorite for this race. And the favourite gets a magnificent start. Rumble Bucket is right there. Number three still pilots the field. Rumble Bucket in second position. Trying to beat back Magician's Minion. Just has a margin over Admiral's Hello. Dueling with Salmon's Leaves. 600 to race. It's number three. Salmon's Leaves pushing up the inside. A length behind its Forbidden Flourish. Struggling with Admiral's Hello. Number three at the head of affairs. Salmon leaves, moving forward. Two lengths behind, it's Forbidden Flourish. Just behind, it's Admiral's Hello. 300 to run, it's number three. Trembling on the rails, it's Salmon leaves. Two lengths away, it's Forbidden Flourish. They straighten up for home, and it's number three. Salmon leaves, watch the front. As they come towards the line, it's number three. Number seven is flashing home. Salmon's leaves breaks their hearts. Just beating number three. Forbidden Float gets the third place. Waiting for the start at Three Oaks. Number six looking to make bookies unhappy. Ready to rumble. Jules Ardva is the pacemaker. Liquid Crypt's going with them. At the 700 meter mark, it's zombie quality. Awful damage in second place. Feeling the pressure from Robot Riddle. Number six eager to get in a better position. Zombie quality still in first position. Liquid Crypt wants the front. Number six picks up the bit. Zombie quality in the lead. Liquid Crypt in second. Number six getting eager. Earthly Vampire next. Zombie quality holding the lead. Number six traveling off the fence. As they straighten for home, it's zombie quality. Number six looking comfortable in that position. They run for home. Number six in fourth position. Zombie quality maintaining the lead. Number six covering extra ground. One length away, it's Jules Hardbar. Zombie quality stealing the win at the finish. Liquid Crypt in second. Third at the line. Awful damage. Thank you. 